Module 2.2 The System Builder System Results Explained Welcome to Module 2.2 of your Profound Professional Training course. The second module will explain what information is returned when you run a system. We will also show you how to add system results information you don't require and how to export them along with how to access the System Builder Glossary. An explanation of information returned when running a system. When you run a system, loads of information fields are returned, from profit and loss to longest losing runs and statistical significance figures. Here we will explain each one. We are back in the system builder and we have the system selected that we went through in module 2.1. And we've run the system and these are the system results returned. Runners is the number of runners the system has produced. Winners is the number of winners the system has produced. WinSR is the strike rate of these winners against runners. IV is the impact value. PL Betfair is the profit and loss to Betfair SP after taking into account Betfair Commission. ROI Betfair is the return on investment to Betfair SP. PL to SP is the profit and loss to Industry SP. ROI to SP is the return on investment to Industry SP. EX wins is the expected number of winners that this system should have produced. This is calculated from the odds of each runner converted to a percentage chance. The number of expected winners should be at least 5. This ensures your sample size is big enough. The AE index indicates if a statistic is good or bad. The A is actual winners and E is expected winners. The AE index is calculated by dividing the actual winners by the expected winners to produce the index value. An AE index of 1 would mean that statistic is performing as expected. Less than one and it is underperforming and more than one and it is performing better than expected. As a benchmark an AE of 1.25 or greater would be very good and an AE of 0.75 or lower would be bad. The Chi score tests the robustness of the system you have run. A Chi score of above 4 shows a backing or laying system is robust. The Chi score is not meaningful unless the number of expected winners is above 5. Lay PLBF. This is the profit loss to Betfair SP if you were to lay all the selections and will include commission if you have any set. This is settled on a per market basis so if you are laying more than one horse in a race then a commission is calculated per market. This is the return on investment for the previous field. This is the profit loss to Betfair SP if you were to lay all the selections using limited liability staking and would include commission if you have any set. Your maximum loss can be only one point laying to a limited liability. This is settled on a per market basis. This is the return on investment for the limited liability laying. This is the number of placed only horses from the system and this is the place only strike rate. This is the place only impact value. This is the amount of horses that won or placed from the system. This is the win or place strike rate and the win or place impact value. This is the longest winning run in this sequence of bets. This is the longest losing run in this sequence of bets. This is the average odds of hauler horses in this system and is worked out from Betfair SP. This is the average odds of all the winning horses in this system and is worked out to Betfair SP. This is the highest odds of any of the horses within this system and this is the highest winning odds of any of the horses within this system. PL Betfair VST is the profit loss to variable staking when backing the horses to win. And this is the return on investment against this figure. Hiding information you don't require and exporting system results. 
you don't have to see all the information when a system is run. Here is how to hide fields and how to export the system results. To hide fields on the system returns, just choose the field you want, right click on the column heading above the field and choose hide this field. So we'll hide the two end fields. These will now stay hidden when we go back into the system builder. If you want to bring the fields back at any point, just right click on any column heading, click show fields, scroll down, you'll see we can tick the fields to bring them back in again. And there they are again. If you want to export system results, you can right click on any column heading and choose export to CSV. Choose a CSV file name and then Excel will open with your exported results. The System Builder Glossary The System Builder contains many tabs and each tab contains many variables that you can use to create a system. We have put together a glossary of what each tab contains and an explanation of what each variable is used for. You will find this in the members area and it is vitally important that you understand what variables you can use and how to use them. Well that's it for module 2.2 training session. Tomorrow module 2.3 will become available to you. It is important that you become familiar with the variables available to you in the system builder. So make time to download the glossary, print it out and read it. It will become your system builder bible.